Today we're looking at the Piaggio One electric scooter. It is Piaggio's first fully electric scooter. There isn't a petrol variant of it. Design-wise, it resembles, some people say it resembles the Piaggio Zip from days gone by, and there are elements in that. Great value, a great little electric scooter. Let's get stuck into it. If you're interested in all things EV and you'd like to support the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future updates. So this is the Piaggio One, released in 2021. Actually, its global release was via TikTok. Um, and as some people say, this design-wise is very similar to the Piaggio Zip. Um, some nice styling elements on which you've got this gloss black. You've got your Piaggio badge with a bit more glass back. Comes in three different colours. Comes in white, black and this grey finish. And some really nice textured elements coming down along and down here. Uh, there is a Feng Chen Wang turquoise edition. I'll put a picture up on the screen. But stylistically, it's an electric scooter. Or it's a scooter in general. Uh, front suspension is a single arm fork. You can see it on this side. Um, with a single chop absorber that's non-adjustable and you can see it's a brake as well, 175 millimeter disc brake. Um, hydraulic caliper and the A1 Active, so there's a couple of different versions, there's the Piaggio 1, Piaggio 1 Plus and then the Piaggio 1 Active, the Active is the bigger one, higher powered and that comes with CBS combined braking system. Tires are CST Urban Travel Rubbers, mounted on a 10 inch wheel, and they're 100 by 80 by 10. Full LED headlight, split into two units, high low beam and daytime running light either side. Let me turn it on, see what it looks like if we can keel a start. And it's just on here. And you can see the screen there, we'll come around to all of that. Uh, and you can see the daytime running light there now, on either side. Nice. The frame itself is a single steel tube, keyless mechanism, and it is all done on. And you can, there's a steering lock on it, and you can also open the seat via this little button as well. And there's the ability to use the key, because there is a key with this is, if you need to. Um, you have your little carry hook, you have a USB charging port there. And I'll stick up on the screen what the wattage is on that. So on the actual bike itself, you've got your wing mirrors. You've got rear brake, uh, you've got high and low beam, you've got your indicators, don't make a noise. And uh, you've got your horn, and you've got your mode selector on the left hand. You've got your uh, hydraulic fluid levels. You've got a five inch, hard to see it there now, but uh, it is very good. And in the daylight it's white, and then if you, there is a, you can see there, a twilight sensor. And on that then you have your ambient temperature, your range, your time and the running watt hour per kilometer you have the what your speed is and then on the battery there's a little smiley face in underneath and if it's above 50 percent it's a happy face and if it's below 50 percent it's a sad face not that you need the happy and sad face on it there is bluetooth there is an app mode and set buttons down here very clear very easy to see um, and then you also have your engine cut you have your uh, mode selector and you have your hazard lights you can see there now it's on and you have your map button and the map then at the bottom of the screen you can see it flashing sport eco there's also a reverse but i don't think it needs it and then to engage that so let's say we're going to go with sport it's flashing there just press one of the brakes and then hold that down and then it'll say ready you can see it over here and so that's ready to go now if i just on the on the stand there now but and if there is a center stand and you can see if i twist the throttle she is a hub mounted rear motor and uh, so let's turn this off good foot space and you have the ability to carry a passenger as well with this um actual piaggio branding either side piaggio at the back led brake light at the back as well and you've got key access to the steer uh, to the seat and if i push it'll pop open there we go and you can also use the key so the key that comes with it uh, and you need the key either way because once you take the battery out you can see there 
the battery system is inside in it. Seat height, just before we go on from that, is 770 millimeters off the ground. Now, with the removable battery, there is a clap on it, and you have the ability to lock it in there with a padlock if you want. Uh, and so then with this, make sure we're turned off. You just twist, pull, and then you can pull that up to the side. And then there's your battery. Battery itself is uh, the regular, the, the entry level one that I'm on, that I have here today. It is a battery weight of 10 kgs, and it is a 1.4 uh, kilowatt hour battery, lithium ion. And then there's a one plus. I'm going to push that in. There we go. And this goes down. You also have the ability to store probably the likes of a um, a smaller helmet. It won't take a full size, full face helmet. And um, the one plus and the one active batteries are two point three kilowatt hour, and they have a battery capacity of uh, fifty. Or sorry, a weight of fifteen kgs. So the smaller battery is twenty nine amp hour, and the larger battery is. 48 amp hour takes six hours to charge do not forget to leave the key uh, do not forget to take the key which you don't put it in there because if it goes into that you'll have fun uh, rear suspension you can see it is a dual shock design with stylish arch wing arms swing arms uh, non-adjustable the one and the one plus versions are fitted with an electric motor with a continuous output of 1.2 kilowatt and then the active the upper level one has a two kilowatt motor weight for the entry level one is 85 kgs and the upper level one is 94 kgs wheelbase is the same on all of them it's 1220 millimeters the length overall is 1680 the width 750 millimeters between the handlebars and then with the wing bars is up to about 900 and then the height is 1,800, sorry, 1,080, up to that here. You can get some accessories with it. There is a windscreen that you can get. There is a 28 litre top box that you can get from the back. And then you can get that Demi-Jet Mono Shell helmet from Feng Chang Wang, matching that design that we talked about earlier on. So that is a look around the Piaggio 1. Let me know in the comments what you think. I think it looks stylish. And it might be the perfect little urban run around. Let's take it out for a drive. So it has three different driving modes. Eco offers greater range at a top speed of 30 kilometers an hour and a more progressive acceleration, whereas a sport you can enjoy the endurance full grunt. That's also a CARS kinetic energy recovery system. The difference between the two electric motors is one gives it an 85 newton meters of torque and the other one is 90 newton meters of torque. The Piaggio comes in three different combinations of battery and engine sizes. The standard version delivers a top speed of 45 kilometers an hour with a range of 55 and in Eco mode it is 43 kilometers an hour in sport mode. The One Plus battery has a larger, large, One Plus model has a larger battery at a range of 100 kilometers in Eco and 68 kilometers in sport. And the Piaggio One Active boasts a maximum speed of 60 kilometers an hour and a range of 85 in Eco and 66 in sport mode. Okay, to start the, yeah, you can see it there. So there's a fob and a key, but you can have the fob on its own. And there is a key inside in the fob. And so the top button is to unlock middle button is to center lock and turn on the alarm and then the bottom button is to uh, find your bike kind of a button so it turns on you'll start to see this light start to flash blue down here and so then you turn it on put away the key that it doesn't fall out when i'm riding the wrong place um and what we have then is a very legible display that 5.5 inch display to engage or get it ready you can see that the engine warning light is on because there isn't a mode selected so you over here on the map button you have the bottom of the screen you have sport you have eco and then you have reverse now reverse if you hold down the brake and hold down the mode map button you get back over to reverse and then hold it down you can hear it makes a beep and then it will reverse for you but it's such a light mo uh, scooter there is no need for that at all. So let's change it over to Sport, press the brake, hold that down. And I'll just show, show you how easy it is to maneuver around the place. Like It's 80 odd kilos, it's not going to be. And so Sport is engaged, it is ready. Yeah, check your wing mirrors. 
Ready to rock? Right foot on first, good. Left foot always last. Check over my shoulder. Um, yeah, it's so quiet. It is so quiet. There's no pedestrian warning noise or nothing like that at all. As you can see, the shop here, and if the people wearing headphones, they're not going to hear you. I've been sneaking up on cats all week. They don't even hear me coming. Um, not by choice, just that on the side of the road, they don't know that I'm there. And then you have the likes of the indicator. Now, on the original, on the other reviews, it is the um, NIU, NQI and MQI. There was a beep to that. Inga, give out to me if I don't stop at this light as well, or this junction as well. Um, and it's not self cancelling. So there's no, the only way you're going to know that the indicator has been on is if you see it on the dash. So we're in sport now. Yeah, it's decent, like it's limited to 45 kilometers an hour on a flat. We're at 30 odd now, so like going up a hill. You are going to feel the diff the, the, the I'm 100 kgs or the guts of it, and with all the gear on, definitely 100 kgs. And I'm not going to say it doesn't struggle, it you'll get there, but it's I'd like a bit more power. And that's I'm doing the, the motorcycle license this year and uh, the, the lessons, etc. And so I want to be able to review higher power electric motorcycles, but also. Um, all types, you know, whereas this at the, my current AM license and this you can run an AM license on this because it's equivalent to a 50cc um, moped or scooter and so what you have is Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That screen is very visible no matter what light it is no matter what day it is so seating position for me is good. I'm 188 centimeters, six foot two. And you can see me there sitting on a bike, what that would look like. We're in sport there now, and we're up to 30 kilometers an hour. So the speed limit on this road is 50 kilometers an hour. Now eco mode will bring you in at, keep you at 30 kilometers an hour and restrict the throttle response. So the same as an, an eco mode and an EV. It is going to be the exact same for that. Visibility is good, the wing mirrors. Um, sometimes I'm a bit broad and some mopeds that I've reviewed in the past, kind of the actual wing mirrors itself are a bit narrow, but this one knows perfect. Um, suspension is good, not too soft, not too hard. Uh, but what's really excellent on the Piaggio one is, I'm not sure if I've been saying P1, for some reason I have in my head that should be the P1. And I know when they launched it was one as in the word one. Whereas now it's just the number one. We'll take that. Um, for, I, for whatever reason in my head I've, I've said, I've always thought, I haven't always thought, I've, I keep on thinking it should be called the Piaggio P1. I don't know why, no idea. Um, so we're up to 46 kilometers an hour there now coming down that hill. Um, the combined braking system would be nice. The CBS on the active model, but again, that's a slightly more powerful electric motor. Um, I'm not sure what the CC equivalent is, but it's more than 50 CC, so it is the A2 license if, you, uh, if you're interested in going for something a bit more powerful. And then I know um, on the Megabike's website, they have, the P they have that Piaggio one, and the Piaggio Active, and then that ch um, Chinese designer brand one as well. I, they don't have the plus on the site. Maybe it's available, so I'll talk to Kieran or Nicole in the store to see if, if the plus is available. Maybe it's out of stock, and that's why they're not listing it. But thanks to Kieran and Nicole and all the team at Mega Bikes for lending me this bike for uh, the next couple of days, and I'm looking to do more two-wheel moped scooter reviews on the channel moving forward and that's why i'm doing the license so there's lots of electric motorcycles that are out there um so the brakes are good really good um and the suspension as i said is nice it is you can carry a passenger on the back of it i haven't tried um the difference between this and its sister the vespa electra electra yeah uh, is there's on the saddle it's very easy to see where the 
driver sits where the, and, and then where, or where the, the, the rider sits and, and the passenger sits where this one I can go all the way back if I wanted to and sit towards the back but I could scooch up if I need to as well so all depending on what your needs are but we will go down the town a small bit and then have a little look on the oh, we'll take a left here So we're at 31, so you can see this isn't a very big steep incline now here over in Dunleary and it's, it's not, it's, it, a little bit more power would, would be great for it. So with the AM license in Ireland, if you have the, if you got your driving license up to a certain year, 2006, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, um, something like that, it is, it has the ability then to you would have automatically got the AM license, so I have that license automatically. Now I have been doing my lessons, so I got the IB. I did my provi got my provisional motorcycle license, uh, and that's valid for I believe two years. And then I got my I did the IBT, and that's a two-year validity as well. And so now I've got um, to get my test. And pass it so that I can ride any of the eleven levels, the A2, A1, and A. Is it is a driving license? Does it give you? Should you have better road skills with regards to being on a motorcycle or a scooter? Yeah, I can see why they did it. Driving a motorcycle is totally different to riding in a car. So, um, getting it as an automatic up to whatever year it was probably wasn't. I a great thing to do but it is what it is so if you're depending on whatever age you got your whatever year you got your full license in ireland uh, and the markets then it is dependent on the licensing laws yeah suspension is lovely like it is they're not small speed bumps there now and it's it's uh, it's not making light weather of them they're good so you've got the mode changes, you've got good visibility. It's so quiet though. I think, well, should there be a noise with it? I don't know, but is it drive the rider mental? Range seems real world. I drove it, I picked it up at Megabikes in the Ballymount store and it was 18 kilometers to get to Dunleary. Obviously couldn't go on the M50, so I went through the burbs and yeah, all good. Hopefully you've enjoyed my review of the Piaggio 1 all-electric scooter. Let me know in the comments if you'd like more two-wheel reviews. And remember, if you think an EV is for you, leave it to me and I'll review. Thank you very much for watching. Huge thanks to my Patreon supporters, new Patreon, Kodzo, Heinrich Leisner, Adrian Carey, Blake Boland from EV Life Ireland, Eve Daly, and Mark. Lots of ways to support the channel. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and share, but you can also support me on Patreon. Thanks very much.